What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Solo Hunt Fish. I am TJ with Solo Hunt Fish and Sweatshop Baits and today we will get loaded up. We're going to take my Duramax and load it up with my blind and all of my turkey gear. Uh, and tomorrow is day one of turkey season 2020 so let's go ahead and try to get that going. So uh, let's run the intro and get this stuff loaded up. friends doing today because this video is something for the hunters um, taking a pause from the bass fishing uh, it's been a great season for the bass so far uh, but we're gonna pause and I know that sounds really crazy but I got my pop-up blind out tomorrow is the opener of turkey season here in California so it's 2020 uh, turkey season uh, and I am Got a phone call, and we're going to go out and go try to snuff one. Uh, the plan for 2020 is to shoot my turkeys with a bow exclusively. No shotgun and no nothing like that. It's all going to be with my Matthews. So I got this blind. Um, I've got... Oh, no, I just... Oh, you know when you just, like, when you're walking and you step on a buckle? Yeah, that's what I just did. Anyways, I got another blind so I, I have two blinds just in case you always, I mean you always got to have something like that this blind breaks down really 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 uh, big and that blind is a lot smaller so I have two of them but we have all kinds of stuff going on here so I got to load up the truck I've got brand new set of decoys uh, there's the hen there's the Jake um, Got some other stuff in there, uh, and we're going to get this bad boy loaded up. We're going to get the old diesel loaded up with all the stuff, and uh, hopefully have a good start to the year. So let's get this bad boy loaded. All right, so first and foremost for this year, uh, one of the things that you know I had to always double check is my uh, first emergency response team kit, uh, and I just basically loaded this bad boy up with to the brim full of stuff that we just need triple you know triangular badges uh emergency blankets um you know just the normal stuff uh and just to have that uh and then i always bring a tipton compact gun vise and the reason why is it's all it's good to have it uh but i also run an emergency archery kit that has a bunch of stuff in it such as my uh my bow vice medic kit uh you know extra allens i have all of my reloading boxes for barns i keep them so like this one is blade wax and lighter uh and keep it this one uh serving material and hot milk so if anything happens in the field or you need to make a quick repair if it can be a quick repair i've got it in here so um yeah, so this is basically my kit, but anyways, that uh, compact uh, bow press, I need something to hold the bow while I'm pressing it, so I just carry one of these. It's great because I can use it for um, rifles and stuff like that too. Uh, so I like to throw that in here. Open up the drawer. And I'm gonna put it a little bit further into the, uh, there we go, further in here so that we can get that in there, uh, semi close look at that, I didn't even know my face mask and gloves were in here, alright, so again, new for 2020 are these brand new Lucky Duck combo 
decoys. Uh, you got a half strutty or semi strut jig and a um, upright hand. I don't know who's calling me. Let's find out. Hey, bro, let me call you back in five. Okay, bye. all right. Interrupting me while I'm doing this video. So, uh, we got our decoys here. We got the stakes that I love. And so I was trying to figure out how to transport these. Uh, they are kind of puffed up and I made them made sure that they're looking good. So I got my one of my old um, waterfowl uh, wader or wader bags. So I think I'm just gonna throw them these bad boys in here. I don't know how much it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Oh yeah. We're golden. Decoys in the bag. We are good. Alright, so as I said earlier, um, I carry two blinds, and again, you, I always carry two blinds because A, I have them, and B, uh, you just never know if you have a buddy that is out in the field and he might need a blind or something like that, or someone breaks a blind, or your blind gets stolen, or uh, whatever it gets blown away it's kind of windy right now so it could blow away uh so i always carry a blind so this one is um a one of those accordion style blinds but it still pops up into a full uh five-sided blind that you can get into and open up the windows and stuff like that so it's but it's very compact it's a backpack style and actually this is what i carry if i'm hiking in this is what i would run so we'll throw this in the truck a couple of blind chairs I popped up the blind to just make sure that there wasn't any cuts, tears, rat chews, or nothing like that. The blind looks good, uh, so I'm going to take it, break her down, and then throw her in the truck. So the breakdown of this particular blind is really easy. It's five-sided roof, four sides, and then it's clear on the bottom. But all you got to do is just pop in. I always go roof first. Go push down the roof, and then push in each of the sides. I'll put away. Last but not least, extra arrows, bino rangefinder harness, and the weapon of choice, my Matthews. So, you guys have seen it. This is my purple bow. Um, it's a Matthews Z7, uh, 27 inch draw. This one is a max 60 pound bow, uh, and I do have it maxed out at 60. I kind of like that's the kind of draw I like for. For turkeys especially just because you don't need a lot of movie you don't need a lot of power of turkeys um, so I'm running mechanical broadheads and uh, yeah so hopefully this baby can uh, bag a bird tomorrow hopefully I can call in a bird get it going and um, take one down so in California we're allowed three birds a year in the springtime all have to be bearded um, and one bird a day so uh, unfortunately, you can't do any doubles or anything like that in the same day unless you have another hunter with you. So tomorrow, I'm going solo. Uh, try to get this all on film, and uh, hopefully it pans out. You guys, thank you very much for sticking with me. I can't wait for tomorrow already. Sun's going down. We'll be up early in the morning, and uh, we'll get this uh, this hunting game on the road for 2020. So, all right, stay tuned. Ooh, good morning, guys. It's five o'clock in the morning. Got about a 50 minute drive up to Turkey Spot, and this is day one of 2020 turkey season for me. And um, high hopes. Uh, when I went to the area to go look, take a look at it, there was saw about six shooter toms, but I say that six shooter toms. But uh, I, I'm hunting a, pro a type of property where I have to call them onto the property I'm, I'm, I'm on. And uh, they were definitely not on the property I was on. So uh, there are birds in the area. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get them. I'm going to get my boots on um, and 
load up the truck with the rest of the stuff and get up at the hill and see what we can do. So, stick with me. Alright guys, good morning. It's TJ with Solo Hunt Fish. And, uh, we just pulled up to my buddy's house, uh, parked the truck, and got all the stuff unloaded. Got my decoys, got the bow, um, you know, got the essentials calls and stuff like that. It's cold, it's about 37 degrees. So we're going to make the hike over here around the corner um, and uh, set the blind up. So, let's see what today looks like. Alright, it's pretty still. We, we got some weather coming in this afternoon. Hopefully the morning it would pan out. But hey, if not, it's still a good day. Alright guys, let's get out here and go try to see if we can uh, call ourselves a turkey. Alright guys, so we're all set up. We're in the blind. You can kind of hear the gobblers already going off. They're a little bit far in the distance. You hear that? So I got probably about a mile to my left down this way. There's about three or four gobblers I can hear down there. And I can hear one across. I mean, he's far. He's probably nothing that I'm even thinking about. So, my only challenge here is, I can't go to the turkeys, so I have to get them to come to me, which is the challenge. That's one thing, right? You got property boundaries that you can't cross. So, we'll see what we can do, guys. Day one turkey season starts now. We are hunting. Alright, guys, so... Right behind me is a tom right now. I mean, we're 10 minutes into the sit, um, to sit right now. He's gobbling, he's by himself. I'm trying to call him, I can't get a good camera angle. But there's a tom behind me about 150 yards. So, let's see what we can do with this one. Pretty exciting stuff. We've had our first bird encounter already. From the binos, he looked like a, looked like a Jake. Um, short gobble and everything so he's walking back um kind of bypassed me i couldn't i'm not gonna i'm not able to get around to him but called at him first thing this morning and and he uh responded pretty closely but the gobblers that i spotted a couple days ago they're all still down there which is it's a far distance so Some awesome start. See that in the center of the screen? There's a bird right there. And that white spot is his head. three hands with him, and I just watched him breeding one of the hands, so I don't see why he would ever come this way. There's the hands in the background, you can 
So I made the decision. I know it's gonna kind of mess you guys up, but I made the decision to go spot and stalk this bird. Um, I'm a little hungry, so wish me luck. Spot and stalk didn't work. I didn't have enough trees. I ran out of trees to keep the bird behind or in between me and my me and the bird he wasn't coming in he had three hens he just bred one of them um, and he's walking out so I got within about 52 yards and then he just he saw me and booked it pretty exciting pretty exciting awesome being out here for sure. to my left there's about eight or nine below me down the draw I got more deer action than I, than I got turkey action that one that one that I tried to spot and stalk went behind me oh shit Well, I know you guys didn't get to see it, but I was just sitting here <laughs> messing around on my phone, and a tom goes walking 60 yards below me, quiet, just walking, and I couldn't get the video on it. I had my screens up on blind, so I couldn't get him down. I didn't want to, you know, spook him or nothing. And I have this draw below me that usually funnels them up and the son of a gun just kept walking straight saw the decoys I know he saw the decoys but he just kept walking came in quiet never gobbled didn't make a sound I called to him but didn't make a sound I don't... two birds two bird encounters
it's uh getting towards mid morning now and had those two encounters with uh, a couple of long beards decided to move to the lower section of the property those two low those two birds that came in or can't came to take a look at least favored the lower section and I that's why I couldn't get to them I couldn't I mean there's trees here but it's kind of difficult to get to those birds if you're even going to spot and stalk them so towards me I can't see anything yet I'm hoping there's no hands with him but he's he's close from a lot of distance so See the hen. She's a good 120. Hundred and twenty two yards away. I haven't got eyes on the gobbler yet. Oh.
That one had my heart going. Dang, man. Good looking bird, too. I mean, he was... He was a beautiful looking bird. Big old beard on him. is thick. Hot. Really a hot bird, but... They didn't want to commit. I don't know if... They don't like that Jake decoy or something. I don't know. But got action from three birds. Alright guys, so it's about mid-morning now, and uh, I'm out of breath. I just uh, jumped out of the blind. I didn't take the camera with me, obviously, and uh, tried to chase the bird that was working. Got a little, tried to do a little spot and stock. They're smart though, it's hard to get on them. Um, I let two arrows fly, and, and none of them were, uh, both of them were clean misses. So, it is what it is, but got a lot of action today. Three birds came in and uh, wanted to give me a little look. I, um was able to try to spot and stalk two birds, fail one failure, and then uh, this one right here was obviously a failure too, but uh, I was actually at least able to uh, let a couple of arrows fly at about 35 and 40, and it's just, you know, the angle's so steep, I'm not used to it, but. Day one turkey season, uh, got a little bit of action, got more action than I thought it was gonna be, so. Again, thank you everyone for watching. I'm TJ with Solo Hunt Fish, Sweatshop Baits, and this is Turkey 2020, day one. Let's see what this season comes along with. If it's anything like today, it could only get better. So stay tuned, hit that uh, no notification button, hit that subscribe button, and keep tuning in for more videos. Thanks, guys.